welcome to the selection sort module. In this module, we are going to learn the intuition behind selection sort algorithm and the actual working of it. First, let us consider this unsorted array and look at how we will solve it in the most intuitive manner. First, we look through the array and we try to find the smallest element possible. In this case, it is 2. So, we mark down 2 and we have the rest of the elements here 8, 10, 3 and 15. Next, we look up for the next smallest element which turns out to be 3. So, we mark this element 3, my array becomes 2, 3 and I am left with 8, 10 and 15. Again, I try to find the smallest elements among these elements which is 8. I mark this element, my array becomes 2, 3, 8 and I am left with 10 and 15. Again, I try to find the smallest element among this set which comes out to be 10. I mark this element and I get 2, 3, 8, 10 and I am only left with 15 so it becomes the last element. This is the most intuitive way of getting a sorted array from a given unsorted set of numbers. Let us see how I can perform this in a more systematic manner which is the actual selection sort algorithm. What we do for this algorithm is that we define a minimum which we initialize to infinity. Now, I systematically iterate through the array to find the smallest number amongst this set of numbers. I go to 8 which is less than my initialized infinity. So, I change this to 8. Then I move on to 10, but 10 is greater than 8. So, I do not need to update the minimum. Then I move on to 2. 2 is less than 8. So, I update the minimum to 2. Then I move on to 3, which is greater than 2 and 15, which is greater than 2. At the end of the iteration, I am left with a minimum of 2, which is the minimum element in my given set of numbers. So, what I do now is I swap this 2 with the first element. The array that I have now is 2, 10, 8, 3 and 15 out of which 2 is the sorted element. I am left with these set of numbers. Again, I do a similar process. I initialize a minimum to infinity. I start iterating from 10 this time because 2 is already sorted. I look at 10 which is smaller than infinity, so I update the minimum to 10. I look at 8 which is smaller than 10, so I update the minimum again. I look at 3 which is again smaller than 8, so I update the minimum to 3. Then I look at 15 which is greater than 3, so I do not need to update the minimum anymore and I have reached the end of my iteration. I am left with 3 which is the minimum out of all of these elements. So, I swap 3 with 10 which is the second element to get 2, 3, 8, 10 and 15. Here I have swapped 3 and 10 to get 3 here and 10 here. Now my 2 and 3 are sorted and I am left with 8, 10 and 15. Again I initialize a minimum to infinity. I start iterating from 8 this time because 2 and 3 as we saw in the first two iterations are already sorted. 8 is less than plus infinity, so I update minimum to 8. Then I move on to 10 which is greater than 8, so I do not need to update the minimum here. And then I move on to 15 which is again greater than 8, so I do not need to update the minimum here. 8 is the smallest element and this is the place that it needs to be, so I do not need to swap it with anything. I am left with the array 2, 3, 8 and the unsorted elements 10 and 15. Again, I do a similar process. I initialize a minimum to infinity and I start iterating from 10 because 2, 3 and 8 are already sorted in the first 3 iterations. 10 is less than plus infinity, so I update the minimum to 10 and 15 is greater than 10, so I do not need to update the minimum anymore. 10 again needs to be swapped to the fourth place where it already is. My array now becomes 2, 3, 8, 10 and the unsorted element 15. Because there is only one element left, I know that it is on its actual position. This way, I get my sorted array which becomes 2, 
3, 8, 10 and 15. Let's look at the pseudocode for this algorithm. We run n minus 1 total iterations given we have n elements in the array. For each element we are running one iteration. So, by n minus 1 iterations we mean that we are sorting n minus 1 elements and the last one element that is left gets sorted by its own. In each of the i iterations we find the minimum from ith to the last element and we swap the minimum to the ith position. For example, suppose we are already done with two iterations that means my first two elements will already be sorted. Suppose the sorted elements are 2, 4 and I am still left with elements 8, 10 and 6. Among these elements I find my minimum to be 6. So, I swap 6 with the third element because this is the third iteration. We are already done with two iterations which is why 2 and 4 are already sorted in this example. After swapping my array becomes 2, 4, 6, 6, 10 and 8 and 10 and 8 are my unsorted elements.